I could try to enter this room uh, through other means now. Huh? Let's see. I have to get through it like over there. And just for security reasons, we're going to close down that door over here. There you go. Now we can figure out what that one is all about. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Or maybe I do have the key already. Who knows? 15. It's more and more difficult. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Alright, so what's behind door number three? We got his crying eye and guards. You're stopped by a guard. It seems your presence here is forbidden. Oh. Try to talk your way out of it. Try to convince them you belong here. Okay. How about a little something to smooth things over? No, we're not going to give anyone anything. Um, well, maybe we can try something. Persuasion, deception, and in intimidation, of course. Look at me. Do I look dangerous? <laughs> this is my place now, if you don't leave now. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Why are you looking at me like that? I live here. Uh, kind of. I, it's not really a deception, it's more a statement. Uh, you live where you live, and uh, where that place is, is always where you are, so you take your place with you, <laughs> in a way. Um, hmm. I could try to use deception, though. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. Um, except for a net 20. So let's just try that. This is not a net 20. And okay, let's just try one more inspiration, just in case. Uh, and then we are going to see... A nine. Okay. No. I definitely need to know. I don't want to waste all of those inspiration charges, though. Let's just continue. The guard is impassive. Your little speech was unconvincing. Oh. Okay. Well, I could try to attack him now. I'm definitely not going to give him any gold. Oh, no. There's a scrying eye. I totally forgot about that. Ah! Where's this one coming from? Adapt Dorico. There's a door. Oh no. Well, and this is how you get yourself into a uh, grave danger. Great night. So, yeah, I do need to get rid of the scrying eye, otherwise, I'm screwed. Um, and I, uh, I need to let Carla get through here. That's. Oh, that is. It is working. That's nice. Okay. So, which one has the. 70. 58. Temporary hostile. Death ward. Um, I could try to do something very, 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 very interesting. I could try to just use the door to my advantage. Uh, temporary hostile. How do I get out of a temporary hostile situation? Uh, or flee from combat. It may harbor some resentment towards you, but will not remain hostile. Okay, wait. Hmm. This is also temporary hostile. Everything in here is temporary hostile. Everyone in here is temporary hostile. What about this one, though? Um, Gloric is now an enemy. Uh huh. All of the doors suddenly opened up. This is weird. This is definitely not cool. Okay. Um, yeah, which of those enemies do I want to attack next? This Adaptorico. It's the next one that I have to fight. So that means that Karlak has to jump to our... Uh, not enough movements, of course not. So she can go like... Not far enough. So what I need to do is focus on at least this one over here. One out. Okay, maybe I need to go a little bit uh, to the side in order to make that work. Alright, 
So, let's see. Good idea, Karlak. Yeah, absolutely great idea. Now that we are in range, uh, we can do all kinds of shenanigans. Nothing will stand in my way. So, and Skabu. Wait a minute. 18. Um. Yeah, something that lowers the chance of hitting would be great. Sneak attack is cool and all, but I need to sneak for that. And I need to do something about this growing eye. Ah, okay. Well, let's do that. We got a critical miss. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. Uh, let's see. Acid arrow. Uh, I should have done that before, though. Now oh, both of them are acidified. That's definitely not cool. Karlak has... Why is the armor not Troy? That's interesting. I should have done that before. That was that was just stupid. Um, Time to kill. Yeah. So he is going in like that. I could try to use the offhand on the scrying eye if that's possible. Let's hope that this one is in. Why can't I attack it? There you go. It is working. So yeah, uh, we are going to use this one against that dude. What on? The paladin, da 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 da, saving throws, yada yada yada, like... Nothing. Okay. Okay, we got one of those enemies down. So, Karlak, what are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, we can't use the cool abilities because bonus actions are used up. But that is never a problem, is it? And... Wow. None of the attacks hit. Wait a minute, we could use bleed against this one. Does it actually deal more? Yeah, kind of, maybe. Ah, uh, save. Too bad. Okay, could I move a little to the side, though? Look at that. Uh, yeah. Let's just move a little to the side. Okay, now acid is gone. We're a little bit safer now. Usually what I do is uh, I tend to cast <laughs> Fog Clyde on my enemies. And uh, that always gives me advantage. Hmm. Now I kind of uh, mess things up, it seems. Well, um, what are we gonna do now? I could try to use this melee thing, kind of get in range, but no, we're not gonna do that. Karlak can uh, just stay there, hope for the best, and I just give him this stuff. Okay, what about this one? Adapt Dorico. Def Ward. Okay, somehow this uh, Adapt Dorico did do anything. That's kind of weird. Okay, I need to do something in order to defeat this one here. Um, I have to get like... Oh, wait a minute. I can use the pie grade. It's actually quite nice. I am in range for an attack. That is amazing. And it's a bit too close, but okay. I could try to make a trip attack. Um, and I could also just try to do a disarming strike on this dude. There you go. Saved disarming strike. Oh, we're gonna try to do that again. 60%. Actually, not that high. Alright. So, the uh, weapon is now dropped. And I need to do something in order to take care of that one. Uh, I cannot move that far. I could use Misty Step as a bonus action. Get very close to this dude. Um... 15 AC. That's actually not that much. This one says not enough movement. And I don't know if, like, opening and closing doors has uh, any effect on us. So we're going to use Misty Step. And we're going to Misty Step very, very close to this one. Oh, no. Yeah, that is the problem that you have uh, with all of the doors. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, can I actually... Closed doors. That would be sweet. You can. Okay. Then we're going to use an action surge. And we're gonna... Hmm. 
I could try to use this one here. Strength save, strength save. Uh, and this one has pretty much no strength. So it could work. Just use a trip attack. <laughs> there you go. Alright. So now we got that much done. The depth is not doing anything, I hope. Okay. Oh, shove it. Missy step is a bonus action, isn't it? And we're gonna get... Ooh. Oh no. At least they use dash, that's okay. Okay. Um, the whole fireball thing was definitely not cool. Where's this adapt going? Uh, the adapt is over here, 39. Uh, the thing is, I should focus them down really quickly. What I need to do is focus this one down really quick. Uh, do I have, like... If I do it like that, but it it's blinded, that is good. And now I can use uh, maybe Carla. Can, can she go that far? Maybe. But not like so. Okay, what about Astaria? Uh, he could use the this attack over here. Kind of disadvantage. What's the disadvantage here? Target outside normal range and it's too dark. Okay. Now it's just too dark. Um, it's like 12 something meters. So if I get a little bit closer. Yeah, now I have advantage and I can. Let's do that. Could have been a little bit more damage though. Alright. Decent amount of damage. Um, color, 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 color. All right, Skaboosh. That was number one, and that is number two. Okay, so her fighting is not done. Um, I could try, actually, to get inside the, uh, the fog. Hmm, and try to get away from there, if that works. I actually want to know if that works or not. That would be quite interesting. So, if I am inside the fog and use cunning action hide... Okay, uh, what are we? We are heavily obscured for some reason. <laughs> uh, hiding in heavily obscured it will go undetected unless they get too close to another creature. Affected entity is invisible to enemies until it crosses their corner sight. Entity has the advantage on all attack rolls, yes. This is really good. Okay, so let's just stay here. And he doesn't have any bonuses though, so he can just stay here and wait. Uh, my turn is also over. Oh, wait a minute. Infuse a crossbow bolt with holy energy. Your range weapon attacks possibly inflict turn undead. I should use that against this creature. That would be amazing. But we're going to do this in the next turn, right? Uh, isn't this one... Yeah, it's blinded. <laughs> uh, great. Um... So, underdog's bravery, but we are in the wrong area for that. So, I need to fight all of those fellows. Um, how am I going to do this? So, how is Lizelle going to do that? <laughs> um, it would be nice to use Hunter's Mark on this one. It's an insafe, though. And we would stand right next to them. That's definitely not good. So, what I have to do is, like, jump all the way over here. 
What the? But now I can just move around like that. That should work. Uh, am I in a fog now? No. Still foggy? Right. Uh, let's move around. Okay, I'm not blinded. Something strange happened. Okay. And I need to defeat this one here. Um, I just need to do like tons of damage for this to work. I could use cleave. No, wait. Uh, I'm gonna use that on this one. It worked! Yeah, look at that. Okay, uh, if we were to use Cleave for 14, we could deal a little bit of damage, but none of those would actually get killed. Should have used that on that dude, though. Okay, but no, wait a minute. I can actually attack twice, right? I can actually try to attack twice, so 39. Hmm. What could we try to do, though? That's like a... An action that we can only do once, but I have to do the trip attack or whatever this dude has in hand. I could try the trip attack against this one, but no. Um, if we are going to fight this one over here, Gloric, we are absolutely screwed. What about this one? Necromites? Okay. Adept Noir, what? No, there is no adapt over there. Anyway, um, hmm. I need to deal high amounts of damage now. Um, this is 20. Yeah, we're going to try like AOE for this one. Uh, let's try that. Nice. Okay, 22 damage. So is it possible for me to just execute this dude? That would be amazing. Maybe a trip attack would work. You got to be kidding me. All right. Anyway, I just stay here. This crying eyes doing things. Psychic resonance. What is this? Calling reinforcements. Uh-huh. Critical misses all over. That's good. Um, I just want a little look. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this scrying eye thingy should be the third. Oh, no, they're coming up. Ah, this is definitely not cool. Looks like I have to fight all of them now. Oh, boy. Okay, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um. What I need to do is uh, position myself so that everyone in here is easily killed, including that one. Um, and I could use a star in though, in order to defeat this. You know what? Still breathing. We're going to use the sunbeam and just laser through it. everything in Odo. That's not going to work. Uh, Lizelle is so gonna get attacked with that. But I could, I, I, I don't know if that works or not. Uh, if we could, it blinds all enemies, it passes. I don't know if that works or not. Um, let's just move over here. So, if I were to use that, how far does it go? Not far enough, though. Not far enough. Maybe I could try... Oh yeah, wait a minute. We're going to try something interesting. With a little bit of luck. Uh, we can... Laser beam through the thing. And... Doesn't look like it would work though. Um, need to get a wee bit closer. Alright. I'm not blinded, which is very interesting. Um, again, a little bit of luck. I don't know if that one would... It has this... It's probably outside or uh, out of range or something like that. But no, I can take down this crying eye in an instant. That wouldn't be a problem. Um... Nah, Lizelle would get the damage, but that's... Yeah, let, let's just use that. Whew. 
A wee bit too much. Uh, that was, um... Not expected. Uh, okay, and Lizelle is still able to fight. That's actually quite interesting. Good. Let's use a speed potion. I could attack this one directly in uh, melee, though. 55 chance. Uh, I could go into the fog cloud, though. Wouldn't get seen at all. Or I could use... That's this advantage. That's not going to work. Um, I could try to go over here. And we have 95% chance. Yeah, let's attack this one. Come on! Oh, this is stupid. This is so stupid. Unbelievable. Alright, uh, we're going back into the fog thingy. And we're gonna use cunning action high. This is just stupid. Uh, okay, this one cannot get any closer. But it could go target outside normal range, well of course. Let's see. It's now in range, that's good. I could try a offhand attack against it, maybe that works. Enemy is nah not dead. Okay. A critical miss. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. There you go. Another one dead. Uh, let's see. Let's just position ourselves fairly well. This turn's now over. I don't have any bonus actions, so my turn's also <laughs> over. What's Carla gonna do? Uh, there's this Furek fellow. Not a lot of zealots. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I need to attack this one right now. Let's just hope this works. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay, we got the scrying eye finish. I just need to get somewhere over there. If that works. Uh, not enough movement speed. Well, that's good. Why does... None of that work. Okay, not enough movement. Why? Oh, I don't have enough movement speed for a jump. Well, that's good. So what I can try to do is use a, uh, a range attack. If I can use... Oh! That could work. That's interesting. What about this one? Great weapon master bonus. This bonus actually make a melee attack with your weapon. Uh, yeah. So, this one is probably going to move a little bit. So it would be nice to provoke opportunity attacks. No. Knock them prone. Whatever. Something that... What about that one? No. Hmm. Then it has this infected energy sheds light and other preventing it from turning invisible. Yes. But that's not the problem here. Yeah? I could try that one with a fire arrow so that I can deal more damage to it or if poison target must be successful constitution saving throw or become poison um, and poison was something with a hit chance wasn't it um, do they have any resistances only to psychic and that's also the death ward so poison was what Attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. So we're gonna use basic poison. Mm, and we're going to attack that one. Poisoned! Yes! <laughs> Alright, now her turn is over. Uh, let's get her back to melee though. Oh, uh, that's actually very weird. Why can I 
be faster than the uh, previous one. That's just kind of weird. Maybe because of the temporary hostile thing. So what I have to do is now uh, get very, 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 very close to it. And attack it directly. What's this one? This was another adapt, isn't it? Hmm. No. Why is this necromite coming? Oh, over there. Well, we're just going to ignore this one. The idea is to focus down on this one. Focus them down really hard. Uh, maybe I could use a... Trip attack against this one, yes. Critical hit! Oh, yes. That was a death ward over there. Definitely not cool. And how do I do that now? I get like... Oh, no, wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, let's just... Use that one on him. And get, uh... A little in range. Right. So, let's enter turn. See what happens. Oh, critical hit on Karlak. Something happened. I don't know what, but it did. So, let's see. Um... Starion needs to get outside the fog, otherwise we're screwed. I ah, come on! I just want to move uh, thingy there. That should work. Is he still blinded? No, he's not. Okay, so I can just use the bonus action to attack the a disadvantage. Target outside normal range. Okay, so let's get a wee bit closer then. Okay, another one. Have to defeat this Necromite now. Uh, how am I gonna do that? Just with normal damage. That could be... that could work. But the other way would be... No, I can't sneak anywhere. So let's just attack this one twice. Hope that it works out. Definitely not enough damage. Let's try that one. Okay, another Necromite done for. Right, Lizelle, 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 what are you gonna do? Um, she can attack this one directly. A rip attack might be the thing that we need. Witness. Now this one is proned and gets executed. And we are good. <laughs> Took a little while, but we cleared out. We cleared out the whole bloody thing. Will be done. Over here. Oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, this is so not good. Where's Kansas? Poor Kansev. He found something. And now he's going. Just like that. Let's hope that he didn't take any items off of them. That would be a bit iffy. What now? Can, you, can we hear them talk down there? Are they enemies? No, they're not. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. So, time for us to loot everything. What do we have here? Mercolite Scourge. When you miss an attack, deal bonus bludgeoning damage. That's cool. And it also does additional necrotic. That's actually pretty sweet. That flail is amazing. Only problem, I uh, don't really have any, any good use for it. So, yeah, let's just loot the room. Ah, uh, hmm. The idea would have probably been to uh, not get yourself killed like that. Moonrise Guards Tower. Okay, that's neat. And the halberd, yeah. Aspen. That's closed off, that's closed off, but I was already in these quarters, so everything's fine. Oh, wait a minute, I... 
I have a key, right? I can just open the doors with a thing. It's the Moonrise Guard key. There you go. So, Kansif. Oh, no, I know what Kansif was. Kansif was the orc that arrived at this location together with. Um. Uh, together with us and and uh, K K uh, whatever his name was, um, what was he called? Uh, Car Carnus. Right, 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 right. Uh, Glory of the Absolute. Uh, what's written in here? Now, come we in reverence before the absolute and the true souls, rejoicing in the free glories of belonging and reveling in the requital for deeds duly done in the absolute's name. Glory the first is our purpose, filling us with determination to bring to all mortals the joy of reverence of the absolute. Glory the second is our obedience, the bliss of knowing that we exalt ourselves when we surrender our wills to the Absolute's commands. Glory the third is our dominion for obedience to the Absolute places, as above our other mortals, and it is righteous to command them. And when through our obedience we have achieved dominion, the Absolute grants us permission for requital, revelry without restraint to express our joy, and pride in the Absolute service. Okay, maybe we should memorize that. That's like Absolute, Absolute, Purpose, Obedience, Dominion. Uh, no, wait a minute. Purpose, Obedience, Dominion, Requito. Uh, P-O-D-R, Pother. Uh, if one could, like, make sense of that. So, let's get that. Scroll of the Dead, that's a good one. Leave it a charcoal, why not? So, now that we got this much done. Uh, where did this crying eye? It just disappeared. It made poof. Uh, it went poof and it is gone. Oh, good. Dead for egg. Okay. And below. Nice. Okay. Poor adapts. So, let's see. That's special. That's special. We've read that one already. And the rest is... It's also special. So, these three are for me. And the rest is there to be sold in the camp. And then I also need to... Go into camp and do a long rest so that I can get all of the abilities back. Or maybe a short rest. Wait a minute. Um, a short rest might be enough. Yeah, short rest for everything. Except for that one. That is a long rest thing. So, uh, I want my laser beam back. Just in case. But uh, maybe we don't even need a laser beam. So, let's just do a quick short rest over here. Alright. Time to see what's new for Yes. Gee, let's close all of that. That one goes up, bit 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 and down there. And some charcoal and some other stuff over there. All right. I'm gonna wait a minute. I also have like some alchemy thingies. Let's see. Oh, my inventory is full of stuff. Ah, it's not cool, it's not cool, it's not cool. What am I going to do with that? Something in here weighs heavily on me, and I don't know what. It could be the potion. The potions, maybe. Sinful red bone white. Yeah, this is some color. That one smoke powder thing is uh, also fairly heavy, but okay. For now, we're not overweight, so we are good. 
But I have to do something about that. I have to get rid of, of a lot of stuff. Or maybe I have to let someone else carry all of my utility things. Like Astarian is the one carrying all of the utility. Like look at all of those arrows and has a backpack full of potions too. Ay 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 ay. Ay 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 ay. Oh wait a minute. Um, the camp suppliers are a thing that I need to place in here. Where are the things over there? All right. Well, we had it. Let's just. Everything except for this and the round flask. So, gilded mortar and rind flask. These two things are like weird. So, okay, let's keep it the way it is. Just have to do something about all of this. It's just a bit too much. <laughs> what about that one? Two thousand something gold. That's neat. That is neat. All right. Now, I'm going to go back. I could try to talk to Kanziv, but um, I would just Time to press ahead. get all the way uh, through that ornate door. Yeah, let's do that. Until next time then, because we're going to do this in the next episode. Like and subscribe, of course, and ta-ta!